Hi, what's up, guys? Today we are going to be designing, uh, you know, a fashion poster for kids, you know, fashion uh, week. So, actually, this uh, picture was downloaded at fibri.com, and uh, you know, you can actually design, uh, download this, you know, texture as well in uh, uh, fibri.com. It's actually free. You know, go over to fibri.com and download your solid project. So we have now to let's step into it. So right now let's first of all create magic with this picture. So what we're gonna be doing now is to just help out to uh what's it called? You know, uh ellipse tool, create an ellipse tool just like so. So after you might have created that, so let's go ahead and drag in wall to create, you know, uh what's it called? create you know duplicate of the circle so after I might have done that so all we need to do right now is to go over and apply you know create an effect to that so before we go for that so let's go over and just have uh you know uh you know interactive field to to apply to the uh object so right now we are going to add a node in between and apply color to give it a uh, depth. So let's go over the click right here. Let's double click right here as well. Likewise at the end double click. So let's go over and just you know take this to be a little bit darker, which is this. So let's go over to this. Let's make it a bit you know a lighter. Then go ahead and have this to be darker. This to be a bit darker. Nice one. So let's go over and just have it, you know, turn down with this. Then go over and give it, you know, this. So what we need to do right now is to head over and have it, you know, uh, apply to the other one. So after I might have done that, all we have to do is to go over and uh, go over and uh, you know uh, adjust the uh, gradient effect, just like so. Good. After I might have done that, all we have to do is to go over and create some objects. You know, just like so, center it all up. Center it all up with a circle. So, all we need to do is to just, you know, stretch. Stretch this, then let's have it, you know, copy it out. So right drag this uh what's it called? Uh shade of color on top of the uh, box. Uh, so when it pops up then you choose copy your properties. That's my good supplies. So what we need to do right now is to select you know this object, click once again, you know, and arrow shows around it, then you uh Pull it up just like so. After I have done that, so let's go over and center this box alongside with it. So let's go ahead and have it this behind with control key and keyboard. Then you tap on play down. So after I have done that, let's right click. Then you go ahead and locate convert outline to curve. So let's click convert it. So let's head over to uh, shape two. Click on shape two. Hold control key down. Then you pull this angle down till you are you know okay with that arrangement so let's go over and pull this as well downward so after all of that what we need to do right now is to bring in the model so so let's park this into place park it then go ahead and adjust the image just like so Make it a bit bigger. Can you see that? Pull it all up just like so. 
so after that is done so make a copy of the image the hold shift key on the keyboard then select the previous one release your mouse and keyboard then you hit on C and E to center color with each other so let's right click on the top you know object so automatically so many pops out that I choose copy extract content so after that I select done that so what we need to do right now is to head over to our shape tool range from the bottom then put control key pull it all up just like so then let's delete this so what we need to do right now is to head over and just select this so we are going to make that a grayscale of one so let's pull that up so what we need to do right now is to head back to our, what's it called, uh, shadow to click on that, let's apply shadow to this. Good. So let's set up our uh, attacking it all up. So let's make it, you know, 90, it's okay. Then let's go over and make the, uh, you know, spread to be 6. Mm, this is too much. So let's make it, you know, uh, 14, it's okay, good, can you see that, so let's head over to our rain, then it's okay, you know, break drop shadow apart, or smart click breaks, then let's go over and have uh, this, you know, set up my, to none, or better still, let it be the gray scale, so let's make a copy of the whole thing just like so so what we're going to be doing now is to make a copy of the object i've created just like so so let's delete the top part delete the shadow then let's put this all up put it all up then let's go ahead and power clip this power clip it into that then stretch it all up to have it to cover that so let's send that it all up with the object that we have so let's go ahead and convert this to a bitmap let's convert it to bitmap so right from here let's make it you know press scale to wait for that to initiate after that is done let's set up to uh what you call transparency tool then click uh, right from this place and uh, choose subtract that's smart click you have that so what you have to do right now is to lengthen it all up so that we can have uh, a little bit of changes right there so what we're going to be doing now is to make a copy then go ahead and delete the rest of this so what we're going to be doing now is to just go ahead pull this all up pull this you know in what so let's add this to be none or fill that then let's delete the shadow then let's have uh, delete the shadow then let's have this you know then set our mind to none as well then let's go ahead group that then send it all up good there we have that nice one so what we're going to be doing now is to head over and just group it all up then let's go over and delete this we just have to retain it for a while then let's go over to to create a box just like so 
the fashion poster stretch this all up okay, let's have a stretch so let's go ahead and group it ctrl g then power clip that into place hold out key select it then release your key and adjust to fill in just like so good nice one so let's go ahead and create an object on top of that so what we're going to be doing now is to head over and sample this color of the airport by color I drop out to then let's pour it on the object so what we're going to be doing is to set the outlines and all then head over to uh, transparency tool let's go over and uh, make it you know subtract mode on the dust steel let's use a screen to see the outcome I think this is nice to be you nice so let's park with that into place go ahead and adjust just like so so let's go over and just uh, uniform it uh, this has to be a bit here uh, pull up can you see that so let's set up a type uh, the test fashionable case Fashionable children week children week week I see that so let's set up our agenda to let's use connect connect fonts connect black bold can you see that so let's set up and have this to be a bit tinier connect lights so let's set up and just have it so let's have it you know uh, close up pull it all up just like so likewise this angle so let's make it you know so what we're going to be doing now is to head over and just you know pull this to uh, close the tracking then go ahead close the tracking as well then type Laurel Laurel chain Laurel chain chain collection collection collections so let's make it a uh, title case and go ahead and change the uh, font to uh, what you call script fonts good so it contributes breaking the pieces then let's have this a bit smaller so let's make it black and let's go ahead and just you know spread it all up with the help of our shape tool so let's it contributes breaking the pieces then let's drag this closer origin collection so let's change this to uh connect lights then let's reduce that then let's just position it right here turn it to black good so let's bring it a bit downward good nice one so what we're going to be doing now is to just you know make a copy of this convert to let's convert it to bitmap so in this case we are going to use rgb it's okay after that is done we'll make adjustments with the appearance of that image so we to wait for that to initiate before making adjustments Go to have that to initiate. This is actually 
you know, an expertise, you know, uh, you know, experience. You just have to really, you know, come up with something creative and you tell it with a fashion house. So that will make you a uh, professional in your field. So let's go over and just reduce. I think uh, because it's too big. So let's go over and adjust this image. Go over to effects. Then go over to adjust. Then hit on tone curve. So if that one pops up, then let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and adjust. Put this angle up. Go to our flat to initiate. So I have flat to initiate. Go to our flat to initiate. I think the file is too big. So I need to just make a reduction with the image. So let's go over and pull this just like so. Let's wait a while for that to give us what we want. Wait a while for that to initiate. Wait a while for that to initiate. Wait a while for that to initiate. This is too much. So I feel that's in the shape. This is why I feel that's in the shape. It's actually taking time anyways. But uh, I think the fire is a bit big. So that was why it's delaying. Keep delaying. So let's see the okay. Can you see that? So let's part with that into place. So adjust to fill in good can you see that can you see how you know you make it is you know uh, the color blend with each other so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what you have shared so far as I always say in my channel see you in the next video bye for now